Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to StarMade. Now, if you don't know what StarMade is, it's this game right here, and it's all about building spaceships with blocks. It's great. I'm here on the Skies of Eden multiplayer server, and this server is particularly special because it has a lot of mods on it. So if you are a veteran StarMade player, you may not recognize some of the things we see here today. First and foremost, if we pull up the galaxy map. Empire. Uh, where I'm at right now, I'm at my little home station. The server actually gives you that station and then this ship, this one right here, to start out. Which is pretty, very generous of them, actually. This mining ship is so big. Oh my gosh, that is loud. <laughs> that uh, you don't really need to upgrade it at all to do your mining. Which is a new experience for me, to say the least. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, you'll also notice that I have this little fighter uh, docked to the top of my, my mining ship here. I actually found this guy just floating in space. I brought him home with me. I sadly do not have the footage for that because I am an idiot and just now learned what bitrate is. Uh, so all that footage is very blocky and terrible. So I'm not going to show it. Uh, so the goals right now is to make this space station more of our own because we don't want to use this starter design they gave us because that's lame. Who uses the default design? That's dumb and stupid. And also we're going to want a lot more space for more and bigger ships uh, some big defensive turrets and what have you. So to facilitate facilitate that, I actually have some hull being crafted at the moment in these factories here. Now, if you're a veteran of the game, you'll be like, component, metal sheet, what the hell is that? And the crafting system is actually different now. So that when you want to make, say, hull, you use a component instead of having to make like a different type of hull and like five different paints. You just make metal sheets, omnichrome paint, and I have these two factories chugging along on that and you're done. It's great. So let's see, how much have we accumulated by now? Okay, we have over 100,000 uh, gray hull now, which is very good. I'll probably keep that running until we get about 200,000, or I guess until we run out of metal mesh, which is going to be pretty soon. Uh, so we'll have to go mining again. But I have that working. And in the meantime, while I let my factories bake, I've actually gone ahead and started working on uh, some turrets to add to this base here. So here on the Skies of Eden, there are tons of mods, not just resources resourced. And I believe as part of one of their custom mods, uh, I, I think it's mod anyway, I don't know. <laughs> uh, they have added in a build sector that you can access right here. And you can just jump in there and start designing your ships to your heart's content so that when you finally get the resources to build it, uh, you can build it in your home base. But for now, you can just design it in here. So I've been working on this big old railgun. Now, again, I have a I had a bunch of footage of me building this, but it was in a rather bad way because I didn't know what bitrate was <laughs> and all the footage looked like a blocky, terrible mess, and I've only just now realized that. So I'll give you a little tour of what I've built so far here. So if we go ahead and hop in the uh, the ship, I have this big old massive cannon here. So on the outside, we've got these, I don't know, like capacitor coils or whatever, and some heat sinks. Uh, they don't actually do anything if you're new to the game. They just look very nice as a detail. I took some inspiration from the Expanse actually with the uh, like this silhouette of the gun. I kind of copied the uh, UNN's railgun platform a little bit there in that regard, but the colors and everything else is all me. Uh, but this is my favorite part, is the barrel. I went ahead and made uh, just one section of it and then copy pasted it the whole way down. And I think it looks, it, I think it turned out pretty darn cool. Get these little arcs of lightning 
coming between these rings and the body of the ship. You can kind of see the uh, cannons poking out behind these grills I made. I guess it'd be like some kind of heat sink or something. I don't know, man. But anyway, the actual cannon output is all the way back here. It's, oh, you can't see it anymore because I filled it in. But there's one block. Yeah, there, this block right here is the uh, output where the projectile actually exits. And I think that's pretty cool because it actually travels the whole length of the barrel um, when it fires. So I need to replace that block real quick if I can find the gosh darn crystal I use. Here we go. Um, if I go ahead and fly inside of it, you can see that the whole thing is actually pretty much all solid. Why can't I see this? Okay, there's some visual bug going on here. Um, but anyway, this whole thing is solid. Uh, I'm just getting a visual bug with the cannons for some reason. And yep. So if I go ahead and open up my weapons menu, you can see we have almost 60,000 blocks of gun. Uh, this is probably the biggest gun you're going to see in the whole series. <laughs> because I made this thing with the express purpose of taking out uh, battleships or any other fool who wanders into my territory. So you can see that it does 7.8 million damage per shot, which should be enough to take down any battleships, shields within a few volleys, which is most excellent in my opinion. Uh, now I have to design the actual turret base that it rotates on. So I need to put something on the back here and I'll come back to you when I actually made some progress on that front because right now I have no idea what to do. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. I have decided to go with this almost uh, barrel design at the back of the turret. So the idea is it'll rotate on this axis right here. So I'm gonna have to make a bit of a cradle for that that can swivel side to side. I think that's a pretty good solution. And of course, I'm once again ripping off the uh, designs from The Expanse because they're great. <laughs> I saw the uh, railgun turrets they had. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to... I don't know how much of this barrel is going to show when it's actually uh, in the turret base. So that's why I'm holding off on detailing it for now. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on a cradle for this thing. And then I'll show you when I have some progress. I've done a little work on the base here. So I decided to go for almost this kind of cradle-like approach. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the black hole. But uh, there is a bit of a gap down here that allows the turret to rotate inside of its mount. And in case you can't tell, uh, this is a separate entity that I'm in right now. So the idea is... I jump into the turret, I can uh, rotate it up and down inside of the base here. So I figured out I need about a two block clearance to be able to get uh, full range of motion all the way up to 90 degrees here. So I've gone ahead, yeah, so I'll put it up and show you what that looks like. So if I'm inside the turret, or the base I mean, if I'm inside the base, you can see the turret can point all the way straight up. Uh, don't mind that mess there. <laughs> um, that's just all the power I needed to put on it in order to dock, move the thing and dock it to the base. Start building. Uh, that is going to get deleted. But you can see we're going to need quite a bit of power to uh, make this thing work. Which is fine. Um, I have a pretty good miner that they give you so anyway yeah you can see inside the actual barrel is pretty hollow um maybe i'll fill it with more guns but uh or maybe i won't i don't know the power draw on this is already kind of nuts but maybe i'll do it anyway uh i forgot to show this actually but i made a bit of an access down to the uh ship core and the ai module and stuff so that way you don't have to that way it's not exposed on the outside of this thing. Uh, even though it is just behind here, which is maybe not the safest 
place for the most important computers and things on the ship. So perhaps I'll replace some of the beams here with armor or something like that, or I can just move it and reconnect everything, which will be a pain. No, actually not really too bad. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I've also started a bit of an outline. Or actually, I'll put this thing back down. All right, let me hop back into the base real quick. I've started a bit of an outline for what I want the base to look like. I think it's coming along pretty nicely. I uh, just need to resolve a few corners and then I can just basically fill it in. Uh, I think I want to keep it pretty plain. Just mostly be armor. But maybe I'll add in some <coughs> some stripes or some pipes or something. Who knows? So I went ahead and filled in the rest of the base here. And I think it's starting to look like an actual turret now. Which is pretty great. Been a little while like these corner areas like here and back here <laughs> I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do there uh, I decided to go for a pretty large base on this thing because that just makes sense to me I'll just have like a huge pillar supporting it or something like that all right I think this is just about done I didn't add too much detail just add some stripes there is standard armor here, but you can't see it because it's too dark and all my holes black. It's easier to see over here, actually, here to the sun. Um, yeah. Add some detailing here on these, uh, I don't know, I guess caps to the rotating mechanism. And I also, oops, wrong, if I rotate the barrel up, you can also see have a little rail for it to rest on here and overall I think this is the best turret I've ever made it looks pretty great I think I'm gonna hop into a single player world and test out how this thing shoots all right <laughs> so I'm here in a single player world with way too many power modules <laughs> on this rail gun to make it actually fire let's see what it can do Oh, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it went, went clean through though. Maybe if we uh, we try going down the whole length of this thing, we can get a little more damage going. Oh yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Looks like it still have exited out. Okay. Oh, it's because I'm shooting from the wrong spot. Okay. okay. We go from the core. Yeah, we get this nice little aiming. There we go. Oh my god, it went all the way through, I think. <laughs> or did it? I don't think it does, because it only goes off like 100 blocks or so, right? Right? Oh my god, did that go all the way through? <laughs> oh my god, it actually went all the way through. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, yeah, that's more of what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, so this thing does its job pretty well. Oh, that's kind of funny. As soon as it gets out of, like, the dense block here, it just goes back to a one-by-one -one hole. That's really wild. Oh, that weird. Okay, so what if I, like, come over here? And, and boop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that does the job. <laughs> that is what I was looking for right there. That is a rail gun. <laughs> oh good gosh. Okay, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Oh, but there goes, there goes that bit of it. Oh, even though it's not like solid, it's still or pretty big hole through there. <laughs> oh, I think I like this thing. We're gonna have like two on our station. <laughs> just, just watch. <laughs> um. 
cannons impart momentum to their targets proportional to the amount of damage they do. So uh, if we keep hitting this thing, <laughs> it's gonna freak out a bit. Uh, also notice how the first shot went all the way through. That's great. Oh, like, it's just. <laughs> Oh my god, that's too good. It's just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> this might be a problem, actually, <laughs> if we hit a ship and it just, you know, starts spinning. It gets kind of hard to aim at it. <laughs> well, let's see if we can hit any of those, uh, those salvage ships that are flying by. Alright, alright. Let's see, do I suck? I might suck. Here we go. Ooh, got him. Oh, that's a big hole. <laughs> hey, you're up next. You're up next, bud. Boom. Alright, All right. I, that, that's it. The video's over now. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>